In retrospect, a large part of the problem was the success initially came very easily to Yale. He was locked up when Get Rich or Die Trying first broke. As soon as he got out of jail, I put him on stage. There was no transition period. He didn't have to spend time as an unknown MC, slowly getting his feet wet, learning how to interact with industry folks and getting the feel of what it was like to be around corporate people. Instead, I dropped him directly into the national spotlight and put a lot of money in his hand at the same time. I should have realized that it was not the ideal circumstance and wished to suddenly ask him to change habits that had been developed over a lifetime. If anything, I should have known those habits would establish an even tighter grip on him. I learned that when things are moving very fast and you're constantly being put in new situations and environments, most people tend to lean back into their old habits, not develop new ones. After years of begging, cajoling, and threatening them to start doing things differently, I had to accept that Yale and Banks were not capable of doing much more than what they were used to. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink.